Happy Monday, beautiful souls. I wanted to have a message for the day that's a little bit different today because I know I promised to be back on Monday, but I'm just too tired. Ryder, he is just turned one, but he's, and he's a beautiful dog, but he's super high maintenance. He's got attachment disorder, follows me and my daughter everywhere. And with Levi here, my grandson we brought back, I brought back yesterday because we had a birthday party for my son-in-law. His birthday was yesterday. And uh, it's just, I'm exhausted. Also because I don't have a lot, like all I only have is the front yard. I don't have a backyard fenced in. And he will not poop on the lawn. And he's too uh, puppy-like to be trusted to, <laughs> to just be left. And so he has to be walked often. And he... I mean, it's great. My abs are in re getting really a good workout because he's got a harness, but he pulls me. He is rock solid muscle and he pulls. And so I'm, I'm good. I'm getting a workout, but with Levi and him, I just, I didn't get my dad. I was just, it was too much. So today is Monday. It's a holiday and I just want to hang out with my dad today. So I hope you'll forgive me. I will for promising to be back on Monday and uh, I just need to take an extra day today to be with my dad. I miss my dad. So I, but I did pull a card and I wanted to, to show you. I asked for the collective what card to pull for everybody. And it says manifestation. Be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper. Manifestation step one. And that is absolutely true. First of all, you have to be clear about what you want. And I know as a coach... Hope it's okay with the background noise. <clears throat> Ryder doesn't stop. I know as a coach, maybe I'll switch views so you can see the pond over there, the retention pond, but no, it's too much for me to stand right now. I'm too tired. Anyways, um, first of all, I love you all. Thank you for all the beautiful support in the chat, on the lives, emails, etc. Just love everybody, the bits and pieces. But manifestation step one is being clear, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve in your life. A healthier relationship, looking for more income, your health, better relationships, more fun, whatever it is, more social life, whatever it is that you're looking to manifest. <clears throat> we want to first be very clear about what we want. And that can sometimes be a lot harder than you think. So that's the first thing. Really touch base with what you want in your heart. Write it down. I do my moon rituals. And the last two moon rituals I did, I asked for Sebastian to be found as my, as my goal, my wish. And be very clear what you want. Write it down. But the other part of manifestation that's not on this card that I want to talk about a little bit for everybody today if you want something so badly and your energy is like obsessive about something you want, that's because you're coming from lack, from not having it. And so the real art of manifestation that nobody really talks about that my guides have been teaching me the last few years is to not be attached to the outcome. In other words, I really want it but if I don't get it, I'm going to be okay. And the reason that is, is energetically. If you put so much energy into wanting something, it's because you don't have it. And so mixed up in the energy you're putting out into the universe is the lack of having it. And if you put out into the universe a lack of having something, you get more lack of having it, not having it. So you want to feel into as if you already have it. And so it's a complicated process. If I'm sure you're getting the gist of that right now. The art of manifestation is something that I have been really been guided to learn the last couple of years. And it's about being okay, not having it, wanting it, being clear about what you want, writing it down, 
putting it out into the universe like a visualization as if you have it and then releasing it and letting the universe do this thing and then being, okay, I put my wish, I'm clear on what I want, I wrote it down, I did a manifestation ritual where I visualized it and felt it as if I have it already. I hear it, see it, taste it. Who's with me? How am I enjoying it? What's going to, what it's going to be like? You do this whole ritual of a meditation prayer, if you will, to the universe, your request. And then you release it to the universe and you let it go. And you say, universe, do your thing. And then you go on with your life as content as you can be not having it, if that makes sense. Trusting that it will come in the divine timing. And my divine timing for manifestation is still in the works. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. For a new career. For our improved finances. And as we know, for justice for my dad, which isn't going to come. Because I wanted something that wasn't mine to have. That's his karma. But my justice will come with this community. And it's building. And so... It's just like real life. We don't win the lottery. Manifestation doesn't come overnight. It's something that takes time in the real world, in 3D world, to build a YouTube channel, to start a business, to work on a relationship, to have a new job means maybe training, getting up an updated resume, applying, starting at ground level, working your way up, whatever it may be for you. It's a cycle and it's a new cycle when you start to see it manifest. But it doesn't just go, ta-da, today you're a millionaire. Today you've got an abundance of friends. Today it's a process. And so that's the divine timing, if you will. And that's why paying attention to the small changes matters so much. Because when you start to see the small changes, you realize the manifestation's happening. And that's why it's so important to focus on what you do have and the gratitude for what you do have when the positive starts to come into your life. You're fueling the recognition to the world, to the universe, to God, to your guide saying, I see you. I see you're manifesting positive change for me. I see you reminding me that this is a work in progress and the good is starting to come in. And I'm going to revel in that, be grateful for that and enjoy that and continue this process. And then on the next new moon, you do the same thing. And the next new moon, you do the same thing. And the next new moon, you do the same thing. And then when you've got that manifestation, you move on to the next one. I hope that helped today. Something a little bit different. I truly love you all and I'm so sorry. I just want to spend the day with my dad. Ryder is 10 times more of a handful with the kids around and the toys that he eats and the rambunction. Ram <laughs> He's rambunctious. <laughs> I can't say rambunctious this. <laughs> too, it's too early. He's 10 times more rambunctious when the kids are around and eats their toys and it's just a nonstop. Uh, and Levi was not feeling the best. So anyways, I don't need to div dive into too many details, I hope. But I apologize. We will be back with the pick of the card, card of the day, Tuesday. And the premiere case of the day and our 4 p.m. live with Sebastian. And we are starting back with all of my readings from the beginning together on the live to see what I may have missed. What is maybe in a new lens now because I haven't looked at any one of my readings. So we're going to do all that together starting tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern. I love you all, everybody. I hope you're having an amazing, relaxing weekend. I hope this makes sense to you. And this is such an appropriate card that I ask my guides for the collective because we're always manifesting something, right? We always, I mean, to have the perfect life is such a crock of crap. So we're always wanting something. So love and light. We'll see you tomorrow.